ever get that feeling, you know, like you're your own worst enemy. Mm, yeah. You set out to do something big, something you've always dreamt of. Right. And it's not like external roadblocks or anything. Mm -hmm. It's that voice inside. Yeah. You know, the one that says you're going to mess it all up. Oh, totally. The fear of failure thing. We're diving deep into that today, right? Yeah. This excerpt you sewn over, it really digs into that, like why we let that fear hold us back yeah. and how we can actually break free from it. What I found really interesting, you know, is that it goes beyond those typical like self-help cliches. It doesn't just tell you to face your fears. It gets into the nitty gritty, even touches on neuroscience, cites Dr. Amy Edmondson's work on psychological safety. Oh, right, yeah. It all comes down to how our brains are wired. They're basically programmed to steer clear of anything that might lead to like shame or embarrassment. Makes sense when you put it that way. I mean, think about it. Yeah. How often do we hold back in a meeting, yeah. not share an idea because, you know, what if people judge us? Exactly. And that's where this excerpt gets really insightful. It argues that instead of denying that fear, we should acknowledge it, see it as a totally normal human response. Okay. And that's the first step to actually dealing with it. They even suggest like a journaling exercise, write down your fear, then try to figure out its root. Is it a past experience, a limiting belief? Stuff like that. That's actually a pretty practical approach. I like that. But it's funny because then the source goes in this whole other direction. They start talking about the importance of daring. Hmm. Like this almost rebellious act of choosing courage over comfort. Yeah. 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 And they use that example, remember? The musician who's about to give up, but then just goes for it. Right. Right. What was it they did? Signed up for an open mic night? Exactly. And the thing is, it wasn't about like some magical self-belief either. It was a conscious decision and action hmm. to do something that terrified them. And guess what? They totally bombed. Oh no. Yeah, it did not go well. I can only imagine, but I'm guessing it was a huge learning experience. Oh, absolutely. And that's the whole point, the big takeaway. It's not always about perfectly achieving that initial dream. It's more about the journey, the resilience we build by taking that chance. Even if we stumble, you know, even if it doesn't go as planned, those experiences, they can open up all these unexpected doors, new possibilities. So it makes you think, doesn't it? <laughs> if we could just get over that fear of failing, what could we achieve? The source ends on such a powerful question. What would you try today if fear wasn't a factor? It really makes you stop and think. It really does. What about you? What comes to mind for you? What's that thing you'd go for, you know, if you could silence that inner critic? You know, it's funny you should mention that. There's this thing I've always wanted to. No way. You oh. should totally do it. Seriously. Yeah, you think so? Absolutely. And you know what? Even if it doesn't work out exactly the way you pictured, the fact that you took that step, that you dared to try, that's a victory in itself. Who knows what amazing opportunities that one brave act could lead to? You're right. You're right. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. That's the spirit.